In boxing, it's not always the ones you don't see that do the damage, but the ones that come unexpectedly early, at any given moment. And as the past has demonstrated time and time again, never get complacent, never switch off, and never drop your guard. In a sport that delivers crowd-pleasing entertainment in the most extreme and brutal way, the need to gain a knockout only becomes more essential for all those who desire to progress to the very top. But after witnessing some of the most shortest lived fights from past and present, we decided we couldn't help ourselves but to share just a few of those exhilarating moments to our global audience. Showcasing boxing in its utmost and truest form. I back myself for anyone. Mm-hmm. You know, if I land a good shot, I'll knock someone out. Mm-hmm. So if you're a fan of the channel, then please like, subscribe, and keep that guard up as we present to you 25 first round knockouts that shock the boxing world. What better place to start as to Mike's first fight since prison release? A first round demolition job against the so-called hurricane Peter McNeely. After Dawson claiming the Stevenson fight was nothing more than a tune-up bout, it was only deserving that a wake-up call would teach a common lesson of never overlooking your opponent. Managing to land a chomping left hook with just 40 seconds left of the first. led to what was going to be an unforgettable sight for fans as Johnny Gonzalez pulled off the truly unthinkable. Taking a hop back to 97, viewers witnessed one of the fastest boxing knockouts in history, a fight between Jimmy Thunder and Crawford Grimsley. That was over in just 1.5 seconds from the first bell. And now, Rex Grimsley with the first punch. And that looks like it over. is it. Why is the referee counting? You don't have to count on that. This fight is over. The referee counted him out. Though not quite the historic upset as to Buster Douglas's win over Tyson, but Ashida's first round knockout over Kirkland certainly surprised the majority. Ashida's right hand. After bizarre events caused controversy during their first meet, the Holt and Therese rematch was bound to deliver a much needed means to an end. But after two heavy knockdowns in just the early stages of the first, Kendall Holt's recovery leading him to pull off a stone cold stoppage was pretty unhuman. Torres was on the rope, he gets caught, he goes down! He's out! Two! I don't think he's going What a fight in the first round! Torres is still out! His leg is twitching over on the corner. Another rematch of more recent times, but this time, one of which had the bronze bomber wipe out the very same man that took him the distance two years prior. It wasn't just the knockouts that cemented the history books in boxing, but also the standout characteristics of certain individuals who carried finesse as well as power. And speaking of Brits, it was middleweight's dark destroyer Nigel Benn that was making a name for himself on the come up 
after just 16 seconds into the first, knocking out Ian Chandler. By this point, Eubank Sr.'s conflict with Ben was only growing more swiftly by the day. And after knocking out Dos Santos in just 20 seconds, led to what was to become one of boxing's biggest rivalries just two months on. When it comes to matchmaking, we've seen some of the most poorest decisions made when finding equal level opposition. But when Estrada knocked out Adkins, setting a new world record. It demonstrated how dangerous mismatches can actually be. Britain's biggest heavyweight star got off to a good start after dominating Emmanuel Leo from start to finish during his professional debut on the big stage. This time, a blast back to the 90s, as Michael Benn pulled off an upset victory over heavyweight star Tommy Morrison. Michael Benn on the birds of a big moment, and he's got it. That's it. A first round KO for Michael Benn. And there goes Tommy Morrison's $8 million payday. Just a few years forward, Britain's Lennox Lewis pulled off yet another sweet victory as he caught Galata on the early stages of the first with some crippling combinations. More right hands, body and head, Lewis knows he's got him going here. It's over, it's over. Lewis wins sensationally. And now, will they believe in Lennox Lewis? It was the fight prior to his world title showdown with Jose Pedraza that captured fans' attention when 15 seconds was all it took to finish Orozco with an unforgettable looping left-hand shot to the temple. Powell versus Bundridge made for one of the strangest first rounds in boxing as both men simultaneously went down to get straight back up almost instantly afterwards. Oh, gee, almost it wasn't a double knockdown. It was a knockdown as Bundridge went down. But it was just moments later when Powell's left hand emphatically ended the night for Bundridge. Wow, massive left hand by Powell, and Bundridge is out of it. Back to boxing's most notorious knockout artist, as Mike's loss to Lennox wasn't going to hold him back from gaining one last destructive stoppage for his resume. In what certainly looks to be the most explosive first round on our list, as the back and forth gunfight between Kirkland and Conyers turned out to be quite a spectacle. And here he goes, a right hand staggers Conyers. All right, Kirkland, Kirkland down as Conyers followed up with another right oh. hand left. Oh, and he gets rocked. Just a straight left hand, and Conyers is shaken oh. off badly. A fight that was clearly not going to go the distance and bound to end sooner rather than later. Known as one of the most honored names in middleweight boxing, Bernard Hopkins paved the way for all upcomers aspiring to achieve greatness within the sport. And with knockouts like this, you can arguably see why. To fight him later in the fight. Good right hand, right out of the box, down goes Conyers. Referee goes over, asks him where he is, and if he doesn't give the right response, the fight is over, and such is the case. Samoan heavyweight David Tua was nothing short of a sensation when it came to knockouts. And after rampaging his way through the division, landing his 17th soul-destroying stoppage. A little bit of... Oh, 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 
certainly raise some concern if he ever was to cross paths with Iron Mike. After barely needing to get out of first gear, Nayoa Inoue proved to be all too much for Britain's Jamie McDonnell as he systematically broke him down bit by bit. His legs seem a little bit shaky here, a minute and a half into the first round, and McDonnell goes over from the left hand. Putting an end to the fight just two minutes in. He's got a minute left, retreats to the ropes immediately, and Nui looking to tee off with that right hand left hand, and McDonnell sags into the ropes again, and Luis Pabon, the referee, has jumped in and waved this off. Boxing's young protege Ryan Garcia had a message for all the doubters as he landed a punch perfect left hook laying Francisco Fonseca out cold on the canvas. But it seems when it comes to prodigies with heavy hands, the zone's Nikita Abobi is definitely one to be on the lookout for. Another star on the rise as former Olympian Guido Vianello proves to be one hell of a wrecking ball. Well, the answer here with his fellow right hand, we'll get to that moment. There's a right hand from Guido. And at the one minute mark, And last but not least, Jermel Charlo's vicious knockout of Erickson Lubin in the last 30 seconds certainly proved he was nothing but business on the night. But 11 of his knockouts. Oh! 